So Kelly, I'm sure like many of you guys, isn't really thinking about pH when she's purchasing her skincare products, right? But Never. maybe she should be. So what is pH? So pH stands for potential of hydrogen, and it has to do with how acidic or how basic something is. So basic, another word Acids. for basic, is Neutral alkaline. and alkaline. Yeah, and you right. probably have heard of like people drinking alkaline water or eating alkaline Absolutely. diets. Those are hot right now. But Rachel, when it comes to the skin, it is the opposite. So the skin does not like being alkaline. The skin likes to be slightly acidic. So let's take a look at that pH scale. So the pH scale centers on seven, which is neutral. Okay, now anything to the left of seven, anything, the lower numbers, those are acidic. So I would say like vinegar lemon juice would be on the lower end of that scale. So like a one or a two. One or two. Kind of a thing. Now, above seven is considered alkaline or basic. So like baking soda would be around like an eight or a nine I on gotcha. that scale. I Okay, so where does the skin like to be? The skin likes to be slightly acidic. So the skin likes to be in about a 4.5 to 5.5. So see that like light green range over there? So when the skin is in that zone, it's able to trap in moisture, it's able to fight off infection, it's able to control inflammation, it can slow down the signs of aging, which is one of the things that yes. I know that we're all dealing with. You know, well, so we're not letting Kelly speak at all though. So Kelly, do you feel like you have signs of aging or you're not happy with your skin treatments? So I think my skin has changed throughout the years yeah. and right now it's tending to be a little more dry. But and what is your age, changed. do you mind me asking? I just turned 50 in April, so thank you. <laughs> 50 Globe! So what's, what Kelly's saying is very real. So actually, as we mature, we don't age, we mature. But as we mature, <laughs> our skin pH starts to actually climb into the alkaline range. Mm. So it starts getting out of that So the skin acidic. itself changes. Yeah, and you can use your products to bring it back. That's part of the reason why our products, some of the products really work is because they're actually bringing your pH closer to that slightly acidic range. Mm. But some people run into trouble because sometimes their products are actually hurting the pH of their skin. So, this is like mind blowing because you can buy these strips. You can do this right at home. This is so easy. And you can I learn so much from it. I remember we did this in like fourth grade at school. Yes. Yeah. These are, this, I mean, this whole kit was about like $4. And it's got hundreds of these little pH strips. So you just tear off a strip, and we actually just lay them out here. And Kelly was nice enough to bring in some of the products that she's actually using right now on her skin. Oh, these you, are yours. So we were gonna test yeah. out. Yeah. Her, yeah. You, you guys Should I put the little strips in? No, so leave no. the strips right there. You, you can dip them in if you want to, no. but just for, for you guys, per, you don't have to. You, at home, you can just dip them in or you can smear your product right on it. Okay. But I think just for them to see it better, we were gonna oh, you're gonna eye here. drop them. Okay. So here, this is her makeup remover, which is staying sort of in that yellow. That's about a six or a seven. That's okay, that's pretty gentle. So I don't think that your makeup remover, Kelly, is causing any problems. Okay. But let's take a look at your serum and see what's going on there. It can take about a minute to fully register. So you can sort of see this one up. Oh, this one's turning. Well, immediately oh, no. it's turning orange red. Which, which is yeah. actually a good thing. Okay, because if you okay. look at the orange here and you try to match it, you're talking about a slightly Oh, it's right here. Okay. So now Thank I am you. going to take a strip and put it against your soap. Okay. Now, oh gosh. Okay, this is badness right now. So uh -oh. that is turning very green. Green to me is alkaline. So okay. actually that's probably creating oh, a lot of, you know, the dry itchy skin you might have. Okay, let's take a look at your eye cream. Okay. All right, so eye cream, I think, I think you told me your eye cream has some retinol in it, which yes. is actually a great ingredient. Uh -oh. oh, okay. Oh, so your eye cream is, unfortunately, <laughs> you know, it, it's a little okay. tricky because eye creams are expensive. Yeah. They are. So, so all kidding aside, what you're saying is she, she can needs use that to like switch once out. A week. She once can honestly, a week. oh no, don't switch that, it out. She can, but she can keep it. going. Just limit it. Limit okay. it. If you, your limit skin this. is very healthy, it's able to rebound. You know, if you push and it outside that zone once a week, you'll be okay. Definitely switch soap, okay. right? Soap, toss it. that soap because soap you use every day. There's no way okay. that you can recover from that. No. Yeah. Okay, that's gone. So luckily, in the future, right. a lot of skincare brands are actually going to be listing the pH right on the label. So they're going to be doing the work for you, which oh. is just so oh. cool. So I love that.